everybody, it's me, Shaw360. Happy New Year, happy 2016. I am sick again. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. I had gotten over my initial sickness and was feeling pretty good. And then the New Year came and it was time to go back to work. And I guess my body said, we're not ready. So like halfway through the day, I just had to leave. I was not feeling good. I actually left work, came home, and I slept for like five hours. So I'll probably be up all night, which I hate that. Isn't it the worst when you take a nap in the day and then you're up all night? But because I wasn't feeling too hot, I decided to make something that would make me feel a little bit better. So I did this. This is Shin Black Ramen Premium Noodle Soup. And it says spicy pot a flavor. I have no idea what that means, pot a -flu. And then it comes with um, the soup and the noodles, and it's got little dehydrated mushrooms. It's really, really tasty. Um, it is a little bit spicy, but not incredibly spicy. I've had spicier before. It's got a nice broth. The broth kind of reminds me of the gum tongue broth. Not in that it has the same flavor, because it really doesn't, because this is spicy and the gum tongue was not. More in like the butteriness of the broth. It's very rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got a nice amount of oil to the broth, which feels nice, especially with my throat because I'm having so much sinus drainage, so I really like it. Mm. Um, I enjoy eating warm stuff when I have body aches because it tends to relax the muscles, so I like that a lot. But I didn't make this video to talk about ramen. Even though ramen is delicious, I wanted to do an update for the channel. So first things first, um, I'm running out of Korean snacks, guys. I went to H Mart at the beginning of this year, 2016, and I just really didn't find a lot of things at all, hardly anything. I bought like some more stuff that I've already bought before, but I didn't find anything new to bring back. I mean, there were a lot of honey chips and cheese chips and things like that, but the flavors were flavors I've had before, so I didn't really want to redo those things. And in some of the like deli stuff, it was really hard to pick up something because I had no idea what I would be getting so I didn't bring any of that home but I think the next time I go to H Mart I would like to bring something back like maybe a pageant or a mochi excuse me maybe mochi balls or something like that so if you have any ideas of things I can pick up that are maybe like almost pre-made so all I gotta just kind of heat it up let me know I'd appreciate that um so that's one update for the channel about the snacks the other one is the drama we're gonna do the drama we'll be doing this year is cheese in the trap and it started on the 4th, like it aired in Korea on the 4th, but I don't think any of the English subs have come out yet. If you have a link for English subs, let me know. I don't think that Drama Fever's English subs have come up yet, and I watch all my dramas on Drama Fever. However, if Drama Fever is going to be two weeks behind and you guys know of a better site with better English subs or more current English subs, i definitely give that a try. Just leave a link in the comment section down below. Also, I know I told you guys that we were going to watch a movie for um, like the year-end New Year thing and I didn't do a video on that because I didn't get any suggestions for movies and Korean movies are like super, super hard to go into blind so I didn't want to try to pick one on my own. Like, I watched Wolf Boy without any information. That was a mess. I watched Truly Madly Deeply. That was a mess. I mean, I just really don't want to watch another movie that I don't know anything about going into it. I would rather have a recommendation. But I did actually end up watching a couple of movies. I traveled a lot during the days kind of right up to New Year's and right after New Year's. But when I would sit down somewhere in the evenings, I watched animated movies. So I watched Whispers of the Heart by Studio Ghibli. I watched um, Princess Mononoke again because I love that movie. Um... I watched Song of the Sea, which is an Irish animated movie, and I watched part of Secret of the Kells. I kind of was in and out of the room, so I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that one. And I'm going to watch A Letter to Momo soon because it looks really good. I saw the trailer for it, but I haven't watched it yet, but I plan to watch it because you can watch it for free on Amazon if you have an Amazon Prime membership. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been watching. Um, other updates, just in general, um, this channel I did the K-pop song favorites of 2015 and it got a lot of views so I guess one of the things I said I would do on this channel that I haven't done so far is talk more about 
other things kind of regarding K-pop. So I'm going to try to do more of those kind of videos because I know not everybody is here for the dramas. And with the snack videos, as I run out of snacks, it makes it to where I have less content for the people who aren't here for the dramas. So we can just talk about kind of what's going on in the news for K-pop. I can talk to you about maybe some of the stuff surrounding my K-pop collecting because I do have a lot that kind of goes into me buying K-pop CDs. Like, it's not just I go online, I place an order, it shows up, and bam, I'm finished. Like, I really do do a lot of price shopping, I do a lot of comparisons, I'm always looking for new websites to try, and as I'm doing that, I, I wouldn't mind talking about those adventures with you guys. Um, the whole thing about what edition to get, like that's another challenge that I think we could have a good discussion about. I was asked to do a video about my opinion on fandom wars. I could talk about that, um, talk about my different feelings for every different company. Um, well, not every different company, but most of the main companies I could talk to you about my feelings about them. So there's a lot of different things I could do, but if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me do on this channel, please leave them in the comment section down below as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on with the channel, what we're going to be doing in the future, and also to let you know that you know, I'm here, 2016, I'm here. Oh, update on my other channel, uh, my shiny D3, I'm calling it that because it's like DX, DX, D, I don't, I don't want to say that, D3. Anyway, my new shiny Japanese full-length album is on its way here. It should be here this week, so when that comes in, I will do a video about that album, the unboxing, and I will also do a video about BTS and FX because those albums finally came in. They came in on Monday and I was so happy because I thought they were lost. I pre-ordered them at the end of November. They didn't come in until a couple of days ago in a whole nother year. So uh, I'm really, really grateful that they came and I can finally talk about them. Of course, what sucks is that because I thought they were legitimately lost since they were no longer being tracked after December the 4th, I actually bought two more. I bought them from catchupcd.net so I might end up having to sell those. I would give them away but I just recently finished a giveaway and I don't know. I don't want to do too many giveaways on my channel because I don't want that to be what my channels are about as I give you stuff so watch me. Like I that's it seems dishonest to me so I don't want it to be about that but I'll have to find out something to do with them but I got some good pulls so I can't wait to show you guys like what photo cards I pulled for those albums because I did pretty decent. But yeah, that, that's updates for the other channel that'll be coming soon. And then just, you know, life in general. Uh, things are kind of status quo right now. It's kind of rough at work, but only because it's a new year and it's always crazy at the end of one year, beginning of a new year. But that that's really it. But I hope you guys will stick with me. And for the people that are new subbies, like I said, if you have something you want me to talk about or you want to talk about on this channel, please leave notes down below. And whenever I'm talking about my the dramas that I watch, I always label those videos differently than I do other videos. Like I always try to be very honest with the way I label videos, so if it's not going to be about something you're interested in, you should be able to know by the title. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to talk about, what you want to watch, what you want to do, food suggestions, um, K-movie suggestions, everything like that. But I want to hear from you because this, this is like our channel. Like as much as my other channel is for me and the K-pop unboxing community, this channel is really about us. Like, it's about me talking about what's going on with me, you talking about what's going on with you, us interacting. I'm very, I always respond to every single comment, every single comment, without fail, I promise. So, that's why I say this is really about us and our interactions and, you know, kind of building up our own little kind of chatty community here. So, I hope I hear from you all soon and I hope you all had beautiful holiday seasons and are having a great 2016. Keep your chin up. I know we're only a few days into the new year and some of you are already encountering some drama, sickness, but don't let that fool you into thinking that's the way the rest of the year is going to be because everything is temporary. Even this life is temporary. So don't look at what's going on now as being the indicator of things to come because Lord willing, there's always tomorrow. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.